Okay, all right, here's what I need everyone to do. I need you to go find your binders. Go get your binders. We're going back to Amonkhet, okay? We need to take your binders. We're gonna go through every single one of them. All right, grab everything you can find from Amonkhet and meet me back here. We're talking about some cards that are bumping up because of Pioneer. Video starts right now. Special thanks to our Patreon supporters who power our channel. Check out our Patreon for monthly giveaways, exclusive content, and even a starring role in our fanfight series. Link in the description below. Hello and welcome to the day. Thank you for spending your time with us. Welcome back to another episode of Jake and Joel or Magic. I am Joel. We're going to talk about two white cards that are on the move in Pioneer, but first, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button down there, it really helps us out. So, tonight, this evening, I was perusing through what we've got on the Pioneer Leagues, and I see Mono White Devotion, and I see Mono White Devotion. Devotion, I see Mono White Devotion, and I see, I say, okay, all right, it's time to go and check out exactly what's going on. You can see I was in the middle of checking Twitter, looking at our Patreon. I was just, I was just bouncing around. Let me see this Mono White Devotion deck we've got. And I was like, all right, two Anna Fenza can tree spirit. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure we talked about that in our Pioneer Sleeper series. We've got three Knight of the White Orchid. I know for a fact we talked about that one in our Pioneer Sleeper series. This isn't just to flex, this is about Heliod, and this is about Gideon of the Trials. Okay, I saw Gideon of the Trials bounce around a little bit when Amonkhet was around, but I never saw it as like a legitimate card. I think that some people tried to make it work off of the you can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game emblem at the time Ally of Zendikar was around, so... You know, maybe that could have been a thing, but I don't think it ever really took off. But getting into the trials, look at this card. In the past in the past month has gone from a three dollar, four dollar card up to fifteen, sixteen dollars. Out of nowhere. I went and dug out my Gideon of the Trials, however many I had sitting around from Amonkhet and never having been used. This is the time to flip these, I would think. I doubt that, you know, unless this deck takes off in a huge way and really explodes that it gets any higher than that $15 mark. But, I mean, it's showing up. Look at this one. This is just one of the Mono Whites ones. This was the 5 0 by Zyro. Zyro. Don't ask me how to pronounce that. But this one runs two in the sideboard. Okay, looking at this other list down here, the one that went. Oh, we're looking for the one that went 4-1. This one is running, oh, this isn't the one. This isn't the right one. This one's not running the whole Gideon package at all. Maybe it was the one right here that went 3-2. Yeah, Gideon of the Trials, three of main board. I'd be interested to see what the two losses were, see how close it was to being a 4-1 or maybe even a 5-0, but the fact that it's up there to me, you know, we're running one Gideon in the main board, three in the in the main board, uh, Allies Indicar, one in the main board, Gideon of the Trials, three in the main board. We got one more Gideon of the Trials in the sideboard, making it a full four of, a Mythic from Amonkhet. Now, I know that Amonkhet was opened a lot, and so, again, I just, I don't think, I think that this spike right now is some hype. And maybe it's time to go and look and see if you have any Gideon of the Trials sitting around in a notebook from Mom on Cat time. And flip them. Get rid of them. Sell them into the hype so that you can put that into some cool cards for your commander deck or something else. Maybe something standard you're playing or a pioneer deck that you want to play. You know, finish out Spirits with some $15 a card Gideons that will probably never be used. The other interesting thing is, is that most of these Mono White Devotion decks are playing a four of, of Heliod Suncrowned. So when we go and look at Heliod Suncrown, you see where the hype was. The hype was huge pre-release and then around release time it had dropped down to about the 20s. And then at the beginning of this month, you know, we were in the 20s and now it's dropped down. Now a 10 or a 5 will get it for you. Now a 10 or a 1 will get it for you. We're getting back up there. I think if you can pick up any of these Heliods, if you want them to play, if you can pick any of these Heliods up for 10 to 12 bucks, I think that would be a great price to pull the trigger on on these. I think they hover around there. I think that they haven't taken off in Standard, but it's still relevant. It hasn't taken off in Pioneer, but it's still relevant. It's right on that cusp. It could go either way, but as a Mythic in a set that wasn't opened a lot, 
I would assume because of just product fatigue and there weren't any chase cards in the boosters, you know, it definitely wasn't open as much as sets that had masterpieces that were just driving down prices. You know, these Heliods, these Heliods, they, that mythic rare means something. Um, the, uh, the alternative arts, those, you know, obviously foils are going to be higher, but even the alternative arts aren't really fetching that too much of a price right now. So I'd say if you can pick these up between, between 10 and 12, now's a great time to buy Heliods if people are trying to unload them because they didn't work. Um, but you think they might and you want to play with them. And now's a great time, in my opinion, if it was me, I'm, I went and pulled out every single Gideon of the trials I had in my notebook and it is time to flip those. That's it. Just had a quick little notion. Hope everybody's having a happy Friday. I want to know if you're playing Mono White Devotion in Pioneer because this is one of the decks that I will be renting very soon to play on the channel and on the stream. Appreciate you hanging out. If you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, it really helps us out. If you want to support us further, we got a Patreon giveaways monthly over there and it's running awesome. You should go check it out and see if you want to join us. The link is down in the description below. And if you want to hang out, we're streaming Tuesday and Thursday evenings over on Twitch. I'll catch you later.